everyone, my name is Chelsea and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos. Today I am bringing you yet another speed build and this one might be somewhat exciting for a lot of you. Uh, I mean, maybe you don't care, but <laughs> in this speed build I decided to challenge myself to not use any custom content. And uh, for the most part, I succeeded. I will just um, quickly throw out there that I did accidentally. Not really accidentally, I sort of did it intentionally. Uh, but there is one piece of custom content in this build that um, I used. However, I will leave the link to that in the description of this video so you'll be able to grab it for yourself. And uh, yeah, it's literally just custom stairs. Like you can replace them with spiral stairs that come with the game. Uh, I just cannot use spiral staircases and they were the only things that actually fit in this house i don't know what it is about spiral staircases so many people love them but like i have always hated them i think they're really ugly <laughs> sorry to everybody who like really likes spiral staircases but i've just always thought that they're hideous and uh yeah i refuse to put them in my build so yeah, we went with the custom U-shaped ones that I use in a lot of my builds, uh, which again, I will leave linked in the description for those of you who want to download those and have this house, you know, appear as it does in the video. But yeah, I'm, um, this was challenging. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, you may not know that I use a lot of custom content in my builds, whether it's like staple pieces like couches or beds or kitchen sets or decorative pieces like plants and pretty much just plants um yeah i'm a very big custom content addict um but first of all can i just like go back to this point and say that there was a bit of a jump in the footage uh that is because one of my files corrupted so yeah you pretty much miss uh me putting all the windows and the doors on this build which is a shame but honestly you didn't really miss much you miss like the start of me decorating the interior and the like the the bits and pieces on the exterior of the house i'm really sorry that i had to cut that out but well not that i had to cut that out but i'm really sorry about the like abrupt jump to the interior uh i actually thought it came later in the video i didn't realize that only two minutes of this video was going to be exterior stuff and the rest of it was going to be interior <laughs> but yeah the footage that i lost uh while it was because i was streaming i accidentally stuffed up my recording while i was streaming uh because i was decorating this house on stream um and i switched to like uh i switched to a scene and for some reason that like massively lagged out the recording and so every time i tried to like import it into premiere pro it's sort of just like broke so yeah <laughs> i'm really really sorry about the big jump but you honestly didn't miss much it was just the windows and a little bit of landscaping which was really not too much because i did try to keep it quite simple on this house uh and a little bit of the interior but that's okay uh you got most of the interior i feel like the interior is the more fun part of my builds i'm not that great at exteriors in my personal opinion but yeah, I was honestly really impressed with myself because I, other than the staircase that you can see in the corner up here, I did not use <laughs> any custom content. I almost uh, cheated and used some plants and stuff like that because I was like, oh, plants aren't really a big deal. I mean, like you can replace those easily enough. But then I reminded myself that, no, I'm literally doing this as a challenge to myself and uh, I'm going to stick to it. So yeah, if you've been waiting for a custom content free, mostly build from me, then I'm happy to deliver one. Will I be doing this again? I don't think so. <laughs> Although I might experiment a little bit more with using uh, textures and paints and stuff uh, on the exterior of my houses. I might experiment with using stuff that comes with the game more. I do usually use custom uh, paneling and stuff on the exteriors of my houses because I think they look really nice uh but maybe I'll uh maybe I'll try to use a little less custom content on the outside of my houses and maybe just like leave the custom content to the interior of my houses and just like decorative pieces that could be very easily replaced although I am working on making a list of custom content that I like typically use in all of my builds kind of like a commonly used custom content list uh it is on my tumblr i will leave that linked in the description it's not finished by any means 
Uh, but I, I think I have... I think I have the majority of my plants there. I'm sorry, I literally just like had to think about things and also um, I had a bubble in my throat that I had to get rid of. Um, <laughs> I think I have most of the plants that I use linked. I have most of the kitchen clutter that I use linked. Uh, mirrors, I think I have some mirrors linked. Bed stuff, like bedroom stuff, I have linked. I haven't linked my living room sets, which is something that I need to do. Uh, but yeah, there's like a lot of custom content that I use most commonly in my builds on that page. So I'll leave that in the description if you want to like, I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this on a build that I don't even use custom content in, but I might as well continue. <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> if you ever download one of my houses or if you watch a lot of my speed builds and you're ever curious where I get like certain pieces of custom content, then, um, it's possibly on that list. If it's not on that list, let, blah, blah. if it's not on that list yet, then it will be added to my list very, very soon. Granted, I haven't really had time to work on it this past week or so. I actually haven't really made much content in general this past week. Um, I made a community post about this, but um, my uncle passed away about a week ago, and um, I just got followed on Twitch. And I think you, no, you didn't hear that. Never mind. I'm so good. I muted my desktop. Um, yeah, anyway, I lost my uncle about a week ago, and so I've, like, been dealing with that <laughs> naturally. Uh, we had his funeral on Friday, which was really nice. Um, I mean, obviously it was really sad, but it was, you know, it was a really nice little, nice little send-off for him. I think he would have liked it, but yeah, because I was dealing with that, I wasn't really feeling up to making content. Even my Twitch streams, I feel like I had to cut short. Um, well, not even I feel like I had to cut short. There were multiple streams that I did this week that I just had to end super duper early because I just wasn't in the right headspace to be creating content. So yeah, I'm really sorry for no videos last week, but I'm sure you can understand why there were no videos. Uh, we should be back to normal this week. Hopefully I have my fingers and toes crossed <laughs> because I do miss making content. Um, I kind of... Okay, I was talking about a university life let's play. I still kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I was going through some of my old sim saves from my like super old backup folder, and I kind of came across my generation save again, and I sort of want to pick generations back up, even though the last time I posted generations was um, May or March of 2021. <laughs> So it has almost been a year since I posted Generations, but I kind of have like a really strong urge to bring that series back. Yeah, we'd kind of have to do like a bit of a reintroductory episode, obviously, so that like those of you who are new here and joined me after March or May of 2021 uh, can learn who these Sims are, blah, blah, blah. But that's something I kind of want to do. If you'd be interested in seeing the Matthews come back, uh, please let me know. The Matthews are actually like a very dear family to me. Uh, I started my generation series with the Matthews back on my original YouTube channel, which was Kiwi Simming. Uh, granted, the old, old generations episodes or like the old generations videos are all privated because I privated all of the videos on my Kiwi Simming channel. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's a, they're a very dear family to me and I would quite like to bring them back. I know they're quite dear to people who have like been with me since I was regularly posting uh the Matthews household on my old channel so yeah I don't know I think it would be cool to bring them back for like those people I think it would be cool to bring up bring them back for like me personally I just think it would be really fun so um yeah it's a generations let's play so obviously it's very family based gameplay um which is kind of my play style anyway <laughs> so yeah I think that's why I have so much fun with generations um so yeah, might do that. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I might still do a university life LP. I just worry that if I have two LPs going at the same time, I'm gonna end up like neglecting builds a little bit and then my channel might accidentally become a little bit more Let's Play focused, which is not what I want per se. I would like my channel to remain mostly builds and stuff like that because that is, you know, just what I really enjoy doing in The Sims, but I don't know, a couple of, uh, a couple of let's play sounds kind of fun. <laughs> maybe I'll like, I don't know, maybe I'll pick one day a week 
where I'll just like upload two videos a day and it's just like a let's play day and then whatever other days I upload I just do builds and stuff like that but we shall see uh there is another kind of series that I've decided to start working on uh I don't know like if <laughs> if I'll end up finishing this but or like I don't know how far I'll get with this air quote series that I've kind of decided to start but I sort of want to renovate the houses in Sunset Valley again back on my old channel I started a let's renovate Sunset Valley series and I had a lot of fun with it I think I did four Sunset Valley houses and they were very small houses in Sunset Valley and I had a lot of fun with them uh I don't remember the name of the one that I started on stream on Friday there is a house that I started in Sunset Valley um it's some two-story home uh which I know doesn't really narrow it down <laughs> it's occupied when you load into Sunset Valley it's like a greenhouse not like a greenhouse as in like you put you know like a, a greenhouse like plants and shit like that it's literally a green la color green house <laughs> uh it's two stories it's occupied when you load into Sunset Valley I don't know who by um but yeah I sort of just randomly started decorating that on stream the other day and yeah so that video might be coming out very soon depending on how long it takes me to finish that renovation um but that's gonna be kind of fun if I just slowly go through and renovate some houses in Sunset Valley if I'm not feeling building something from scratch which is um unfortunately I get hit with uh lack of inspiration for building houses from scratch quite a lot just because I feel like I'm not I'm not the best when it comes to floor plans and exteriors and stuff like that so I struggle <laughs> slightly <laughs> uh when I do build a house from scratch I feel like it takes a lot out of me and it, I don't know it just it takes me a little while to get back into like the mindset of oh okay I can build stuff from scratch you know I'm not I'm not totally shit at this um I feel like I just completely contradicted myself with whatever I just said there but listen it's been a long week my brain has been god knows where <laughs> uh this past week um I don't know I I'm doing my best but yeah it's it's been a very tough week please be patient with me <laughs> but anyway we have moved into the upstairs of this house and I absolutely love the upstairs it's like so crammed but I think it's crammed in such a cute way uh so there's three bedrooms in this house there is a twins room which is what I'm working on right now uh I really like this room because it's pink and blue and I like pink and blue together I think they're a really cute color combination kind of surprised I didn't do pink and sage green because those are my two favorite colors together at the moment but um I also just did an entire apartment that was like pink and sage green so maybe that's why <laughs> I decided to steer clear from it uh in this build but yeah I don't know this is just a cute room for your kids to uh to have it's really tiny though so like once these kids age up um and they're teenagers they're gonna be quite literally up each other's asses and they're gonna be probably really annoyed with each other so <laughs> You may want to move once uh, the kids in this room age up just for their benefit. But then again, this is The Sims. I don't think they care all too much. <laughs> uh, but there's also a teenager's room, which is um, that has a double bed in it and some like, I think it's got a desk and a laptop in it. I don't really. It's been a few days since I finished this build, so I don't quite remember uh what's in it I was actually really struggling to get the commentary for this video done for such a long time because um my Premiere Pro was like fucking up every time I tried to record the commentary for this video um but that's because I had the broken uh video clip in it when I was trying to do that but I was getting really frustrated I was like why is my Premiere Pro not working with this one particular video it's working with every other video it's just this one it doesn't want to work I was getting really annoyed with it and kept giving up on it but yep literally all I had to do was um take the broken video file out of the uh video and what do you know it worked perfectly after that <laughs> but anyway how have you been what's been going on um like I said I've had a bit of a rough week but hopefully your week hasn't been so bad uh oh my country went back to well not back to my country went to 
uh red alert lockdown which is um actually not that bad if you're fully vaccinated which i am uh it just means you like have to mask up uh social distancing is a thing like you have to stay two meters apart it's quite standard but well it's like standard protocol protocol sorry for like preventing the spread of um coronavirus but um yeah we it's like the highest level uh we have in our country i, don't, I feel like this is not going to make any sense because i don't know how to explain it <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but my whole country went into uh the red light lockdown level because apparently we're having an omicron is that how you say it uh we're having an omicron outbreak which is fun um i'm pretty sure they said that they were anticipating a thousand cases a day within the next couple of weeks so that's pretty wild <laughs> uh i didn't even realize there were that many people in this country that's a joke um but yeah that's uh slightly stressful there were two locations of interest today very local to me <laughs> as in there was a location of interest in the mall that i was at today it wasn't the mall itself it was actually at the like other end of the mall that i was at but like when i found out that there was a location of interest in the mall that i had just been at that day i was like oh my god this is like oh this omicron is getting really close isn't it <laughs> but i'm booked for my booster next week wait is it next week i don't know i'm booked on the 6th i don't actually know when the 6th is i think it's next weekend possibly yeah i think it's next sunday i'm booked in for my booster shot so yeah that'll be me with a bit of extra protection which is nice hopefully this one doesn't absolutely knock me out like my other two have but i'm assuming it will <laughs> the biggest thing i've had with um my vaccines has been like exhaustion um yeah the first one absolutely knocked me out i was in bed at like four o'clock and i was in and out of sleep uh pretty much since then until the morning uh i had to eat my dinner in bed my parents had to bring it up to me i was a little princess uh so that was the first one the second one was much the same i'm pretty sure the second one actually knocked me out for a couple of days uh the first one knocked me out for like a day i think so yeah first one knocked me out for a day second one knocked me out for two days i'm gonna go ahead and assume that the booster is gonna knock me out for three days <laughs> just uh based off you know past events um but yeah you know i'm i'm doing my part it's it's worth it <laughs> i'm keeping myself safe i'm keeping those around me as safe as i possibly can be at least um obviously being vaccinated doesn't completely uh make you immune to it but um you know i i'm doing my part i'm doing my bit so if i do get stuck with it hopefully stuck with uh covid that is hopefully it doesn't hit me too hard <laughs> But yeah, we are working on the master bedroom right now and then we are pretty much done with the entire house. Again, I'm so sorry that we lost a little bit of footage uh, at the start there. I really didn't realize it was like so early into the video. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's ugh, it's a shame. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I guess that's what I get for uh, trying to multitask and, you know, build while streaming and have my brain not be like fully on what I'm doing. <laughs> that's my bed uh but yeah this is a very cute master bedroom i used a bed that i literally never use wait do i keep this bed yes i do i never use this bed because i usually think it's ugly but it kind of went with the vibe for this room so i kept it just this once you will probably never ever see me use this bed again i'm just throwing that out there <laughs> uh but yeah i'm pretty much all finished with this house we're just going to do some finishing touches on the master bedroom and then we're going to go ahead and jump into some screenshots. So I might as well wrap my commentary up right here. Yes. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. The download link for this house will be in the description if you're interested in putting it into your own game. It will be a lot easier for you to put it into your game considering uh, there's like barely any custom content in this build. However, I can't guarantee I'm going to do many of these like mostly cc free custom content builds okay the next build that i upload is probably going to be absolutely loaded with it i apologize <laughs> uh but yeah thank you so much for watching i love you a lot and of course i will see you next time Bye bye